Today, our guest, the head of Azerbaijan Popular Front Party Youth Committee, Abrifaz Gurmanli. Today, we'll discuss the conclusions of the Year of the Youth. What activities did the youth carry out this year? Were the youth organizations active in the year of elections? Compared to the earlier period, this year was marked for active participation of the youth. There were some factors influencing on it, including the mass murder of the youth in state or academy and the arrest of youth bloggers Emin Mili and Adnan Hadzada. And this triggered the increase of the youth activity. You know that there were mass protests after the murder of youth in the academy, state or academy. Besides, the youth carried out joint activities for protection of the youth bloggers, Emin and Adnan. As the year was also the year of elections, we witnessed active participation of the youth members of Azerbaijan Popular Front Party and Musabat Party, as well as a number of independent youth organizations. And uh, what were your achievements last year? The most important event of 2010 were the parliamentary elections. Our main duty was to ensure the victory of our candidates, but we regret that though our candidates gained the majority of votes, they couldn't enter the parliament as a result of election fraud, falsifications. And from this viewpoint, in election sphere, we couldn't gain remarkable achievement. But in general, the active participation of youth this year compared to the previous years can be regarded as an achievement. Moreover, you know that internet use, the use of internet in Azerbaijan rapidly developed since 2009 and it gave new opportunities to the youth. The number, a number of youth involved in social networks increased. It was mainly the youth in democracy camps which most benefited from these opportunities. But let's admit that the religious youth are much more active than the political youth. How do you see the uh, balance, the difference? I would not say that our youth can be divided into religious and political ones. I don't think there is a big gap between the youth. I speak about uh, the active part of the youth. You know that about 35% of the Azerbaijan population are the youth, and certain part of the youth is very active. Among them, there are religious followers or the opposites, and they have their political positions too. If you look at the composition of our youth committee, you can see both atheists and religious followers. We have stated that we uh, would not differentiate them for their religious affiliation. We just try to prevent any gap between the youth that could uh, distract us from our way, from our missions. And uh, as for the difference between online and real participation of the youth, that's not big either. Before the elections, there were more claims that the youth who are active in the internet do not do the same in real life, real events. Today, in both democratic and authoritarian countries, the governments are afraid of student movements. We see that student movements can influence the government's policy. And what about Azerbaijan? Why student movement is not developing in Azerbaijan? Until 2005, the student participation in political and social activities in Azerbaijan was also strong. But later, the regime worsened the situation. In 2005, we had about 40 members at the faculty in Baku State University, but later we couldn't preserve contacts. It was only related, it was not only related to our operation activities, it was related to the silence in the country. Our uh, headquarters were seized, our material and technical resources finished, 
And of course, this influenced in our activities in the universities. But now we are again intensifying our activities in the universities. For example, recently in December, the youth committee of the party met with the party chairman. In that meeting, about 22 youth joined the party. About uh, 15 of them were students of different universities. And in fact, by choosing our party, they declared that they launched their political activities. At present, we are seeing uh, the education ministry's policy. It's approach the students, and uh, they are planning to increase the education fees, to reduce the number of students studying abroad, and of course, we will take relevant measures together with students. Thank you for coming to our studio today. Our guest was the head of Azerbaijani Popular Front Party Youth Committee, Abulfaz Gurbanli.